the book of Sirach, chapter 16, verse 13. The sinner shall not escape with the spoils, and the patient of the godly shall not be frustrated. Call Halayim La, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakahachadash. Double honors and salutations to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone that taught us the truth that we're well. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect and to the one third men, women, and children of Israel and to the Israelite foreigners who has the appearance of the heathens, but their lineage, their seed lines from their fathers goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Shalom, Mr. Brother Hawashai Ibadi of GMS Chicago, and um, I'm not sure what I made title, but uh, maybe something like the the, sh the sinner may shall not escape with the spoils, you know, pretty much the scripture, right? So what inspired this video is, hey, yo, I'm, I am tired of Esau Edom just digging in my motherfucking pockets, man. You know, um, here it is. Uh, uh, he's uh, knocking down the rates at my job, you know. So you don't, you have to work pretty much, you have to work harder than what you did uh, 20 years ago. While doing that, he's increasing everything. Went up 300 on the mortgage. Went up 300 on the insurance. All right. Um, taxes, property taxes, all kind of madness, man. You know what I mean? So, you know. Uh, 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 your overhead is just out the roof. But guess what? The scriptures hit, man. That's that's this this is the comforter, man. This is what the gospel is about, man. All right. The comforter through the Holy Spirit. It's like, yo, you don't understand why you go to the highways and byways. All right. Chanting down Babylon. That's what's going to happen. This devil is truly showing his horns, man. Hey, just the other day at the job, they had a, 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 a employee appreciation day. But that same day is when they send a notice about dropping the rates. They that's some slimy work, man. But that's what the devil will do in the last days, man. He's showing his horns now. So I had to check myself. I was like, yo, this is mercy at the end of the day. Yeah, it don't feel good. Okay. We, uh, uh, I take, uh, I'm, I'm just trying my best to take it cheerfully. And at the end of the day, yeah, how about Shemiah Shai got us, man? He feeds the birds. He feeds all the animals. How much more us? All right. The hopeful elect, Lord willing, I'm of the elect. All right. So I got right here, Esau, Edom, you know, cause all roads lead to Rome, man. Any kind of matter of fact, let me grab this real quick, man. This is to show you who, who's, who's ruling, man. And everybody is saying the same thing, right? Proverbs 29 and 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked beareth rule, the people mourn. All right? The righteous are not in authority, man. The the, the Israel, okay, they're, they're not in, in authority, man. Esau, Edom, the self-proclaimed white man, is in authority right now. Okay? And that's what you see right here. Uh, uh, the red dragon, the wicked, all right? The uh, they, they lead the... Um, the uh they're the leaders of the eu all right nato okay those 10 uh the 10 horns man all right and the seven heads in in a in, in uh babylon the great aka america is the whore that ride the beast man okay their faces all over the money this is who has stewardship over the earth man okay so this is a clear indication that the wicked is ruling the earth right because we know that uh second address Six and uh, nine says uh, Esau is the end of the world. Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. Right. So we got good things to look forward to, man. Yes, these things do stump you after a while, but you're confident through these scriptures, man. Let's uh, go back to the featured scripture that I had. And that's uh, Sirach 16 and 13. The sinner shall not escape with his spoils and the patient of the godly shall not be frustrated. Make way for every work of mercy. For every man shall find according to his works. And the works that we put in is the first job uh, uh, preaching this word for Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, man. Telling our people to repent and, and be converted. All right. Telling these heathens that they're, uh, they're going to be destroyed and they're going into captivity. All right. It says, verse 15, the Lord Yahweh hardened Pharaoh that he should not know him, that his powerful works might be known 
to the world. And this links up with uh, Romans 9 and um, 17. I'm going to get that because that's what this devil is doing, man. And hey, uh, the American uh, president pretty much represents the uh, modern day Pharaoh to a degree, you know. Romans 9 and 17, for the scripture saith unto Pharaoh, even for this same purpose, have I raised thee up that I might show my power in thee and that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. All right. So, yeah, this devil, he's uh, uh, the Lord is hardening him, man. He's not going to make it easy in the last days of his kingdom. He's all like shit. If I can't have it, none of y'all can have it. I'm going to make you struggle. And this also links up with uh, what's the name? Exodus 9 and 16. All right. But not to get off subject, real quick, let's grab uh, the book of James. Just want to establish who the, who the who this devil is that's controlling everything. And he's oppressing even his own people, man. Let's grab the book of James 5 and 1 and it reads, Go to now, ye rich men, weep and howl for your miseries that shall come upon you. This man dollar is out the door, man. The bricks is taking over, man. Okay. Your riches are corrupt and your garments moth-eaten. Your gold and silver is cankered and the rust of them shall be a witness against you. This man is in uh, heavy debt. All right. Uh, 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 he's in thick clay and that uh, Hebrew word for clay is I bought you, man. All right. It says here uh, and shall eat your flesh as it were fire. Ye, ye have a heap treasures together for your treasure together for the last days. Behold, the hire of the laborers which have reaped down your fields, which is of you kept back by fraud. All right. Putting usury on everything, man. It says, uh, which is interest. It says, crieth and the cries of them which have reaped are entered into the ears of the Lord Yahweh of Sabbath oath. All right. And that's what uh, me and the men that's teaching this truth correctly, directly with sincerity and charity. Right now, man, it's going to the ears of the Lord, sighing and crying, man. Verse 5, it says, Ye have lived in pleasure on the earth and been one ton. Ye have nourished your hearts as in a day of slaughter. All right? So this devil is pretty much fattening himself for the fucking slaughter, man. All right? So, hey, when the gas prices, when all that stuff go out, do it feel good? No, but, hey, just think of it as mercy, man, because after a while, hey, this is going to break society, man. And that's what we want. We want civil unrest. We want the society to break down, man. All right. You ain't got to pay none of that shit no more, man. Right. Um. Real quick. Let's grab uh, Sirach 21 and eight. It says he that build his house with other men's money is like one that gather himself stones for the tomb of his burial. Yikes. The congregation of the wicked is like toe wrapped together and the end of them is a flame of fire to destroy them yeah and that that reminds you of also uh uh uh, uh obadiah 1 and 18 hey and these other nations too man the, the psalms 83 crew man they help out in in our uh suffering too okay um yeah that's pretty much it on that let's grab the book of uh psalm Psalm 73 and 17. This this whole chapter is fire, man. It's a lot I can get, but uh trying to get the uh class. I'll probably grab a couple up top, maybe. Um Yeah, verse 7 says their eyes stand out with fatness. They have more than heart could wish. Okay, they live they they're living deliciously, man. Right? But I'm going to jump to the point that I wanted. This is uh, verse 17. It says, until I went into the sanctuary of Yahweh, then understood I their end. Because you can't talk to no regular Jake about these things, man. Regular Jake just be like, yeah, they dirty, man. They dirty. They dirty. Okay, what are we finna do about it, man? What's the solution? What's the end of this, man? Jake don't know. All right. The election, uh, they know like Romans 11 and 7. All right. Israel have not obtained that which he seek for, but the election have obtained it and the rest were blinded, man. So we know these scriptures, man. We know what this devil uh, what's the, the, the end game for this devil. It says, surely 
Let me read this again. Until I went into the sanctuary of Yahweh, then understood I therein. All right. That's why I quoted that uh, second address uh, six and nine. Uh, surely thou did set them in slippery places. Thou cast them down into destruction, man. How are they brought into desolation as in a moment? They are utterly consumed with terrors. All right. So, yeah, these mans can't sleep, even though you getting. Hey, it's my, my thing be like, just be the devil fully, man. And, and just put gas at ten dollars a gallon, man. All right. So everything could just go up, man. But, hey, you know what? Sitting here sighing and crying. Guess what, though, man? We deserve that shit. We really deserve death at the end of the day, man. Let's grab. Um, and I'm going to get into that, Lord willing. Let's grab real quick here. Sirach 41 and 8. It says, Woe be unto you, ungodly men, which have forsaken the law of the Most High Yahweh. Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. Hey, they take, they, like it says in Psalms 50, they, who are you to take the words, uh, the, the, the words of the Lord, uh, take the, the Lord's statues in, in your mouth, man. Roughly paraphrasing, right? Because, hey, it, anyway, let me continue. It says, for if you increase, it shall be to your destruction. All right, man, that's comforting. So now let's get, cause it's all about balance, man. You know, we went off, but we're coming out of this, uh, temporary, uh, punishment, man, for our going off. Let's grab, uh, the book of Baruch three and, um, Eight. Hey, because all this goes back to a hey, the earth has been given into the hand of the wicked, right? Which is uh I'm quoting Job nine and twenty-four, right? Like I say, all roads lead to Rome. Right? He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? All right, and two thirds of our people, man, they 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 help this devil along with it. They are like their father, the devil, John eight and forty-four. All right. So they 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 aid and assist in our um downfall too right matter of fact before i got that i wanted to grab the uh this haggai it says here haggai one and six ye have so much and brought bring in little ye eat but ye have uh, not enough ye drink but ye are not filled with drink ye clothe you but there is none warm and he that earneth wages, earn wages to put it into a bag with holes. So at the end of the day, man, hey, because I, I, I don't I don't go nowhere, man. You know, I'll just go to class. All right. Camp. All right. Got do a little running around for the uh, 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 for, for family going grocery store and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? And I go to work. Right. I just I basically just pay essentials, man. Buy a little uh, a little bottle here and there, man. That's it, man. You know, shit is too high out here, man. Uh, Haggai, uh, yeah. So, yeah, it's like I read that already. Yeah, so we earn uh, wages to put into a, a, a bag with holes, man. All right? Everything is going up, but that's what the devil would do, man. Now, let's get to um, my Baruch 3 and 8. And it reads, Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. We are. Where thou hast scattered us for a reproach and a curse. All right? We are under, we still under the curses of Deuteronomy 28. All right? And to be subject to payments according to all the iniquities of our fathers which departed from the Lord Yahweh, our power. All right? Here, Israel, the commandments of life give ear to understand wisdom. All right? So, yeah, man. Hey. <laughs> It says it right there. The scripture breaks down itself. I don't even need to add to it. Real quick, I'm going to grab Baruch 4.25. My children, suffer patiently the wrath that is come upon you from Yahweh. For thy enemy have persecuted thee, but shortly thou shalt see his destruction and shalt thread upon his neck. Hey, and ironically, man, hey, his destruction, the, ironically, him... 
going crazy like a madman with raising the price of everything because of inflation. All right. Hey, his, his, his society is circling the drain. So it's kind of good. Like I said, it's mercy at the end of the day. You got to take it as that. All right. And I'm telling myself that first and foremost, Hey, and that's that's what the good news is about, man. The Wadi Yaba Shimi for the uh, good news. And I'm going to end it off with these real quick, man. Um, Job 20. Because eventually what this is going to lead to a reset. Uh, it, it, this is a controlled demolition of the uh, economic system, man. All right. To get to what? The MOTB. All right. It's the perfect setup for that. So everybody be down and out. And then what's going to happen after that? Hey, you going, man, you going to uh, uh, willingly roll your sleeve up and, and, and accept that, uh, that karagma under your skin, man. Right. Let's grab uh, Job 20 and 22 in the fulfillment of his sufficiency. He shall be in straight. See, and uh, every hand of the wicked shall come upon him. All right. And that wicked, it, 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 it means the, the laborers, man. All right. The workers. When he is about to fill his belly, his new world order, right? Yahweh shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him and shall rain it upon him while he is eating. All right. He think he's getting ready to fulfill his whole NWO. Like I said, verse 24 says he shall flee from the iron weapon and the bow of steel shall strike him through. And that's those intercontinental ballistic missile missiles, man. All right. It said, uh, it is drawn and come out of his body. Yeah, the glistering sword coming out of his gall. Terrors are upon him. Okay. So I can go more, but man, um, yo, for time's sake, uh, this devil, man, hey, you, you gonna get it. All right, all of you that 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 help this devil with this wickedness, hey, the scriptures don't lie. So with that, I pray it was edifying. Brakate Ahawa, Brakate Ahawashai, Bashim Kakada Shalom.